Okay, welcome back to the Maritime UK Solent Careers Fair. We're live with Blue Davies. Blue is the head of training for British Marine, uh, and he's going to talk about how British Marine lead and promote the maritime sector, um, but also how they work with commercial and the leisure industry and super yachts as well. So if you have any questions for Blue, please type them into the chat and we will pick them up after the session. Um, Blue, over to you. Thank you very much, Nikki, uh, for the introduction. Um, I, I assume that you can see my screen that I've shared. Absolutely, we can all see you, Blue. Good, thank you very much. So good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us um, on our Maritime UK Careers Day. Um, I'm going to cover the marine leisure industry in a bit of detail, and I'm joined today also by my colleague Ulrika, who you won't be able to see because we are obviously socially distancing, um, but she's here to answer any questions that you may have, uh, particularly on our, the marine apprenticeship programmes that we are responsible for. So what I'd like to do is firstly um, just introduce who we are, British Marine. Um, we are the trade association for the UK leisure and small commercial marine industry. Um, we lead and promote our industry and work with our members to achieve sustainable growth in a competitive global environment through the provision of world-class goods and services. So within that, we support uh, around about 1,500 members with a range of services and expertise which help their business. So British Marine has around about 35 people employed within it, and we have various teams. Uh, my team, obviously, the training team. We, de we deal with courses within the marine sector, apprenticeship development, and what we're doing today, uh, careers, uh, and attracting people to our marine leisure industry. We also have uh, technical departments that work um, globally um, to ensure that all the boat building regulations and requirements are, are, here, are adhered to by our members and we help provide that tech, technical expertise out to them when it comes to what the requirements should be. We have other teams which I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about as we go through the presentation. So these are the different types of marine sectors that you will find that um, um, I'm going to talk about today and tell you a little bit more about what, what they do. Um, and there are various roles um, within each one. And um, it said, whatever you can do on land, you can do at sea. So whatever job you can think of, you can put marine or maritime in front of it, and you will have a job that is similar to what you can find on dry land. So just starting from the top there, boat distribution and retail. This is all about um, selling new boats mainly. Um, so boats are built still in the UK, mainly along the south coast, um, uh, but also in East Anglia as well. And obviously we have the inland sector where narrow boats are built and that's up in around the Midlands um, kind of Cheshire area as well. So new boats are built and then they are sold to people who, who order them. Sometimes they have very particular specs, especially in the high end super yacht industry. Um, other boats are built to standard and they're sold on through different distributors. Boat manufacture, that's all about making the boats. Um, they, like I said, most of the boat builders along the south coast of England but we've got East Anglia and the narrowboat industry up in around the Midlands area. Boat repair and servicing. Obviously, boats do break down. They need servicing. They need looking after. So there's a particular industry and sector that deal with that. So if you're an engineer of uh, interest in engineering, you can be a marine engineer, for instance, and look after the repair and servicing of all types of boats and yachts. The business support services is an interesting area. Um, so, for instance, if you're interested in accounting or you're interested in the legal side of things, you can be a marine accountant, you can be a marine lawyer um, and do all the normal type of things that lawyers get involved in, um, in within the legal profession. 
Um, uh, we have super yacht lawyers, as they are as they are termed, quite a fancy term for a lawyer, but they get involved with the the buying and selling of the very high end super yacht boats, which which happen within our within our sector. Um, obviously, these boats can go for millions of pounds. So the work that these guys do is very important to ensure all the contracts are in place to make sure a smooth delivery and payment of their boat. Equipment distribution, distribution and retail. Um, th these are the guys who kind of make, make the stuff, um, whether it's a rope, whether it's a buoy, whether it's an electronic device on a boat. Um, these are the people that make them and get them distributed around the world for people to then sell and buy in various places. Equipment manufacture, uh, the building of engines um, that go on uh, and inside, inside and on the back of all the different types of leisure craft there are. Um, again, if you're interested in, in cars and stuff like that, it's very similar. Big engines go in big boats. Um, and we've got obviously down to the small outboard engines that go on the back of the, the ribs that you see out and about on the water. We've got the higher holidays and training sector. Um, so you may have well been on a holiday, an inland boating holiday at some point, uh, and maybe this is, the, uh, this is the right time for, for you to go and do these types of things. And um, taking a holiday in a narrow boat on the inland waterways around Great Britain is a fantastic way to spend your summertime. Uh, it's great fun. Um, it's very peaceful in, in most respects. And um, as you can see, there's a there's a narrow boat there, um, and inside they are very they are very well uh, looked after, and they've got all the different mod cons that you could you could probably want whilst you go on holiday. Um, you can learn how to sail boats, you can learn how to drive boats, um, and it, just enjoy the fact of being out on the water um, in some peace and quiet, doing not getting anyone's way, and enjoying your free time. Obviously, all these boats that we're talking about that get made, they, they need to go somewhere. They need a parking space, and that's where our marinas come in. There's lots of marinas around the coast, and obviously in the inland water, in the inland waterways, there's lots of marinas on the for the inland sector as well, where all the narrow boats are all parked. So um, lots of the marinas um, uh, that operate in and around the, the coastal areas, they have boat yards as well. So if a boat does need repairing, there's a place for that to happen whilst your boat is moored and parked up. Generally in the winter months, when people don't get out and do so much sailing, um, in the summer months, then all the boats are out, hopefully in and around the coastal waters and on the inland canals. Um, plenty of different jobs within uh, the marinas there, from marina manager to working in the boatyard, moving boats, repairing boats, cleaning boats down, storing them, and all that kind of stuff. So there's lots of opportunities there in the marine sector. And finally, the brokerage sector, that's all about really buying and selling um, secondhand boats, but some, some, some of them do sell new boats as well. So again, if you're interested in selling things, you know, if you looked at being a car sales person, for instance, there's, there's a great job for you there in the marine leisure industry where you can buy and sell boats, which is great fun. So that's a little bit about the marine sectors that we cover and, and some of the things that happen. Um, what I'd like to do now um, is just show you a, a quick video um, just to kind of bring all that together a little bit more. Um, there's a few pictures there, hopefully that give you a flavour of some of the things that happen. Um, you've got the picture in the top right cor corner there of a passenger boat up on the River Thames. So, um, you know, if, you, if you're working in hospitality, um, there, there are, there are uh, bars and restaurants on some of these boats. And obviously you can be a skipper on the boat and drive it up and down the river as well. We've got yachts, um, we've got sailing yachts there. And on the top right, we've got a big super yacht, big fancy yacht there. Uh, and they come with kind of everything included, swimming pools, helicopter landing pads, gyms, everything you can think of. And you can have opportunities to work on those as well as, as, a, as a captain. Lots of different roles you can do on a super yacht and they travel all around the world. Um, working in a boat yard, that middle picture there of the big forklift, taking a boat off a rack, 
you can work in a boat yard, moving boats around, taking them from inside storage, dropping them in the water, ready for people to go out and enjoy their day. And then we've got the inland sector I mentioned earlier. Picture on the bottom left there is of an inland um, marina. You see all the narrowboats all lined up very neatly. And then the picture on the right hand side, you can see a small narrowboat out there with um, people out enjoying themselves along the canals and waterways in and around the UK. Okay, so um, just moving on. Um, uh, also, what, what we have on our website are some marine job cards. Um, and these just tell you a little, about, uh, a little bit about the different job roles that we have in our sector that I mentioned earlier. So here's an example of a couple of them here. This is the boat builder one and the marine engineer one. Now, um, the cards tell you a little bit about what the, what the roles do and what's good about it, the kind of type of salary that you could potentially earn as well, and some of the, the qualifications and experience you may need um, for that particular role. Um, and then uh, on the back of the cards, uh, it tells you a bit, a bit about some of the qualities that you might have if you're gonna be a boat builder or a marine engineer, um, and other things that perhaps you could consider if you're just interested in, in that kind of type of work. It also has got the, the life cycle of a, of a vessel in there and where it all fits in. So whether it's build, maintenance, working afloat, services, uh, design and specification uh, and all the supply chain. So it gives you a feel for kind of the job role, where it fits in the, the life cycle of the boat and what, what are some of the type of things that you might be interested in. So there are 12 of these cards and they can be found on, on our website as well. Um, and there they all are lined up. Um, they get ranged from the naval architect, boat designer, um, captain, skipper of a boat, yacht brokers, marina managers, marina sales managers that, that work in retail. So like Chand they're called chandlery shops in the leisure in the marine leisure industry. Um, we've got marine electrical, uh, insurance brokers, marine surveyors, project managers, and water port, water sport instructors. So there's lots of different jobs and roles there that you may be interested in. Um, and like I said earlier, if you, can, if you can put marine in front of it, you know, any job you can do on land, you can do on the water. Um, there is a link at the bottom of the presentation there, which takes you to these cards. So you can print them off and look at them in a bit more detail as well. So other things that we do um, as an organization, We've developed various marine apprenticeships on behalf of the marine leisure sector. So if it's an apprenticeship you're looking at uh, uh, when you leave school or university, you can do apprenticeships in boat building, marine engineering. Uh, you can work in marinas and boatyards. And the one we're currently working on that will be ready for next year is marine electrical. So there's different options there of marine apprenticeships that you can do to get into the marine leisure sector. The companies within the marine leisure sector as well, um, they, they do employ apprentices in other vocations, such as business support, IT, fabrication and welding, engineering, manufacturing, marketing, and many, many other apprenticeships that you, you could probably think of and have heard about. So if it's an apprenticeship program you're looking to do, um, the, the marine leisure industry is a great place to start. So the final thing I'd like to mention, uh, one of the things that British Marine does uh, and we are responsible for, which you may have been to, been to before, especially if you're in the local area, down in and around Southampton in Portsmouth. Um, the, the show's in September every year. Unfortunately, the show this year didn't happen because of the, the COVID regulations, um, but we're looking to, to host a, a bigger and better show next year in 2021. At that show, there's lots to see, lots to do. There's all the different boats and vessels you can think of from stand-up paddle boards up to um, the, the fancy yachts and super yachts that you might see out and about uh, around the world. Um, uh, there's lots of activities to do for schools and colleges um, to bring um, the cohorts of learners along, along to. Um, and one of the other things we do is we celebrate all the apprentices that complete their programs as part of the, as part of the marine leisure sector. And um, we, we give them um, a, a lunch 
um, and we present them with some certificates and, and welcome welcome them to to the leisure in, the marine leisure industry. Um, recently, um, or last year's um, event, we had Monty Halls, who's a, a TV broadcaster, marine biologist. He came along to give um, a keynote speech and present all the certificates. Um, and he was fantastic. Some of the tales he's got are great to listen to. Uh, he's, an, he's also an ex-military man as well. So he had plenty of tales to, um, to tell all the apprentices uh, on the day. To get involved um, as a school or college, uh, there's an email address there, schools at southamptonboatshow.com. Um, you, can, you can drop those guys an email and um, get prepared, ready for the show next year. And we send out free tickets for all the schools and colleges that would like to come along. So that pretty much concludes my presentation. Um, I do apologize for the video not working correctly, but we'll send it out on a link afterwards so you, you can watch it um, at your leisure. So um, Nikki, if there are any, any questions uh, that have come in during the session, we are quite um, happy and welcome to answer them. Hi, Blue, thank you. Um, that was a really lovely presentation about British Marine. Um, can you just tell me, with the apprenticeships that you were speaking about, is there a particular apprenticeship site for um, those apprentices or do people just go to the normal apprenticeship site? Yeah, there's the, um, there's the National Apprenticeship site where you can go on to and look for, um, look for different apprenticeships. You can put in what, what, whatever it is you're looking for and you can do a search for ones that may be available in your local area. Um, if it's kind of boat building you're looking for, there are some 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 of the bigger boat builders in the UK um, are called Princess um, and Sunseeker. So you can look on their websites. There's also others, um, Oyster Yachts, um, Spirit Yachts, and there's one down in Cornwall called Pendennis. That they, they, they don't actually build boats but they do a lot of repair and refurbishment on them um, and they have some big super yachts come in there um, that they work on so there's some of the some of the companies that you could probably do a, a search for online um, and of course you've got the rnli as well who build the lifeboats um, so th there's there's great opportunities there for, um, for you to look for but yeah the national apprenticeship website is a good place to start for looking for any type of apprenticeship Are there any more questions? So I, if you're speaking, Nikki, I can't hear you at this moment in time. Okay, so if there are no more questions, uh, I thank you very much for listening in today. And um, I hope you found that useful. Uh, and apologies again for the video not quite showing properly, but I, I'm sure the guys from Maritime UK will uh, send out all the slides afterwards and all the links will be included within the presentation there. So um, yeah, please, um, please explore the marine leisure industry. There are some fantastic jobs available to do. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you can, if there's a job, you can put Marine in, in, in front of it. Um, so yeah, please look, look out for any jobs within the Marine Leisure Sector. Um, lots of interesting and fantastic roles available for you.